Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today I'll be bringing you my full video review of the Cyan OS for CyanogenMod 12 theme review. Let's go ahead and take a look. So Cyan OS is a Cyanogen OS inspired theme that features a lot of blacks and blues as we'll see in a second. So upon applying the theme, we'll be greeted with a slightly altered lock screen. The icons down at the bottom have gotten a redesign and the wallpaper has been changed. Unlocking the device, we can see a host of changes here. Everything from the status bar to the nav bar has been changed in some way. So we now have these slashes to indicate signal strength for both Wi-Fi and cellular, which I actually like. They look pretty interesting. Toward the bottom, we can see the altered icons, although not all of my icons are supported, so as with many other themes, I'm not a huge fan. Another thing worth noting about the icons is just how similar the CyanogenMod camera looks to the Google camera. They're virtually indistinguishable, which could be a concern for some. The font has also been changed to something a bit more thin which looks pretty clean and the navbar buttons also have a changed look, but the multitasking button seems a little out of place due to its more complex icon when compared to the other two, but maybe I'm just nitpicking. Oh, and there's also this new much darker wallpaper which probably looks really nice on AMOLED displays. Anyway, if we swipe down from the top, here's where things start to get a little messy. So we have our notifications, which look fine for the most part, but the secondary text color for certain notifications is too dark to be seen against the black background, which is really annoying. This is even true for incoming calls, which is an even bigger issue because it's hard to make out which buttons are answer, dismiss, and block. I really hope these issues are ironed out soon. Moving on, we have the quick settings, which look nice, and it's pretty easy to tell which setting is on and which is off, but they do look a bit too big. Maybe if they're downsized just a tad, they look a little bit better. Other than that, I really do like the overall look of the icons and color scheme here. Jumping into settings, we can appreciate just how well the blue and black complement each other. The black is very nice and again would probably look beautiful on AMOLED displays, while the blue helps to lift the look of it all. Toggles and checkboxes have gotten a makeover and overall the settings look beautiful to me. I really do enjoy the deep colors, especially at night since it's easy on the eyes. However, for some odd reason, the gestures section is only partially themed. It has the sliders, but not the black background, which is kind of odd. There are a handful of other changes too. The Google keyboard has been repainted and looks amazing. The light color and blue also looks really good, but if you're into something a bit darker for typing on, no worries because the dark version of the Google keyboard is also themed. We've also got tweaked volume sliders and a bunch of apps have been themed to match the look of CyanOS. Among those include Google+, Instagram, Gmail, and apparently Google Play Music and Google Keep, but here's another area where bugs come into play. Those two apps don't actually seem to be themed at all, which is unfortunate because I'm sure they'd look very nice. Also, the Hangouts app looks extremely blue inside the conversation. This might be due to its recent update, but whether that's the case or not, it's still very blue. So blue that I actually resent using Hangouts for that very reason, so I do hope this is fixed soon. So what's my opinion on the theme? I think it's a very nice theme with a few fixable hiccups. I really do hope these are fixed because this is a solid theme that I would love to use more often. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down there for more videos from me. And don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.